And so now we're going to ink it, color it, and I'll show you how to bring in a, a background, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So if you haven't already, lock your columns, okay? That way we don't accidentally adjust the frames or mess anything up. And I'm gonna go to the ball column and let's get to a frame where we can see it. And I'm gonna adjust the opacity. I'm gonna click this little triangle and just bump the opacity down okay, to about 25. Okay, so let's come over here and we're gonna make a new column. So it's gonna be a tunes raster level and we'll call this ball cleanup. Okay, and let's uh, rename the column. So B, maybe BCL for ball cleanup. And let's pick a brush. So I'm gonna hit this plus sign and come over here to raster. And if you scroll all the way to the top, you're gonna see this ink brush. I'm gonna use that. And it is pressure sensitive. So if we come up here and go to our brush, there's a little pressure checkbox. I'm gonna leave that on because I like that hand-drawn kind of wiggly line look, but you could turn that off if you want. Okay, so we got that all set up. So a, a little trick you can do with especially like geometric stuff like this is we can go to frame two and click. Okay, I'm just gonna re erase that little mark. And then we'll go back to frame one and click this uh, create geometry tool right here. Uh, geometric tool and this G and for the shape we're gonna do a circle okay and we're just gonna click and drag and you could go over a frame that has your ball uh, just to get the perfect size uh, so let's do that let's go down to frame 34 let's, whoa, let's click and drag Okay, so, so this is a little big, so I'm going to shrink it down. This is just a guide. We're going to use this as a, a guide for a ball, okay? So now I can go, say, back to frame one and turn on onion skinning on three. And now you see it right here. It's kind of really faint. And we're just going to use this as our guide for our ball. So we can start drawing. Okay, and anytime we get off of this, the size or the, the shape of the ball, we can always come back to that right there, okay? So, Let's go to the drawing where we first see our ball. We're going to take this and move it over and rotate it to make that stripe line up. Okay. So now let's go to our second key is at frame 21. Okay, so let's go to 21, and I'm gonna turn off this onion skin right here. Take out a key, because we added a key up here. Okay, so let's do frame 22. I'm gonna turn on onion skinning so I can see that again. So let's go ahead and draw it again. And we can wait on the stripe. We could move it over to our animation. And then we can add the stripe. Okay. Let's go to frame 23 and draw it again. We're just going to go through every frame. And clean up our rough sketch, okay. And see, it's my line's getting wobbly. I, li I like that. Okay, if you don't like that, 
you could just use that uh, geometry tool and just make it a perfectly round ball if you wanted. Okay, so let's go to frame 27. And I'm just using that initial sphere we made as a guide. And you want to try to make sure all your lines connect and are closed up. And I'll, I'll show you why in a little bit when we start to color. It becomes pretty important. Okay. All right, so I'm going to fast forward through this next part and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm just wrapping up the last few frames. This is where the ball is like stretchy. It's falling off the diving board. Doing. And then it's coming down here. So let's draw this. Okay. I'm going to do those motion marks as well. Okay. And let's see. Then it disappears after that. So let's hit play. The ball rolls out, stops, and then falls off. Okay, so now let's color it. Okay, so let's come over here and we're going to create a color for the ball. So click this little plus sign, and I think I want to do like a green, maybe a, maybe a, a darker green. Okay, so this will be the, the main ball color. And so what's cool in Open Tunes is you can go to a frame, like let's say right here. And if you click the bucket tool, you can come over here and click frame range. And it will do its best to fill in the, the, um, the color for that object. So let's do the, the bottom of the ball. So I'm gonna click inside here and it leaves a little plus sign. So now let's go over a few frames to here and click again and see what happens. Okay, it jumped back to the first frame, but if we scrub through, we can see it did a pretty good job. It did color the stripe because it passed through that, that plus sign. So let's undo that. So let's try to do a little bit less. So let's go to this frame and click here and roll over to about here and click. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't always work. So let's turn that off and just manually fill this in. Okay, let's try it down here where it, it's holding, okay? From, let's do 70 down to 96. Okay, so let's do frame range. Click down here at the bottom of the ball. Go down to 91 and click again. And do you see that? It filled in the bottom of the ball through all of those frames right in through here. Okay, so we could try the same for the top. And like I said, it's, it's trial and error. There we go. And you can always turn that off and just manually fill it. And this is uh, why I said closing your lines are important because if you don't your color will spill out into the rest of the image okay let's get this colored in here and let's color the ball falling off the diving board Okay, but what's neat about this is you can go to this color and if you want to change the color, it will update over every frame. Let's do, I want to do a little bit lighter color for the stripe. So let's click this plus sign and let's go something like this. And you can just, you know, guesstimate and then change the color la later if you don't like 
how it's looking. Okay, let's go through here and just, we're just filling in every frame, coloring the stripe on every frame. Okay, and don't forget to delete any templates you have. So I have this shape up here. I'm going to delete that. Okay, and make sure you auto renumber. Okay, I'm going to make the ball a little bit lighter, the stripe. Okay, so now let's bring in a background. So let's come up here to the top of our X sheet. And I'm going to go to the very far right and click column five. And I have a background that I already made for my little cartoon short fluttered turtle background. So I'm just going to click and drag this into the canvas in open tunes and let go. Okay. And it put it on column five and it put it way down here at frame 121 because that's where we had stopped. So let's drag this all the way back up to the top. And now we want to hold this over our whole animation. So I can grab this little tab right here and just pull this down as long as I need to hold this background. So let's hold it all the way down to frame 97. And we're going to click the column and drag it to the left. And this will put it under our rough drawing and under our line art. Okay. Okay. We can turn off this ball layer that's our rough ball animation okay let's hit play Boing. okay so I didn't hold the background long enough <laughs> let's come down here and it looks like we need to hold it all the way down to 125 come over here We'll click the last frame and just hold it down to 125. Okay, that looks better. And I am actually going to get rid of this grass and stuff. So I'm going to go to the background and click this little tool over here, animate tool and scale. And I'm just going to scale up the background just to only have blue sky. And I'm going to scoot it down as well. So I'm, going to, I'm going to position down like this. Okay, so there's our ball rolling out and it falls off the diving board. Doing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and create a new column and clean up the diving board. Okay, and then we can go to render uh, fast render in MP4, or we can go to render uh, output settings and do a final render in here. Okay, anyway, happy animating, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.